All right, next up, Eslena Esther Turner. Come on up. Hi, my name is Esther. I'm the founder and CEO of Eslena. I'm here today with Larkin, our chief sales officer. Nick is not here, he's our COO, and together we are Eslena. And fun fact, they are also my brothers. But we didn't start out as a family business, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. But right now, I'd like to tell you about our drink. Eslina is a fruit-infused, lightly flavored bottled water. We use organic juices and herbs to create refreshing flavors and add a dash of sea salt to remineralize the water and provide a naturally balanced dose of electrolytes. Overall, that clearly uh, simple ingredient profile is what inspired me to create this beverage back in 2015. And ever since then, it has been a wild ride. I'll tell you, three months ago, if you would have told me I'd be standing here up on the stage, I would have said, you guys are nuts. We've been through two packaging changes, five co-packers, and partnership changes. So it has been an incredible year for us, and in fact, just this December, we're relaunching Eslina in the packaging we're introducing to you today. And it's truly a testament of perseverance, of faith in each other, and a belief that this product belongs on the shelf. But it's not just us. In the two years we did sell into market, we got a great response from our customers. They loved that we were uncarbonated, they loved that we were unsweetened, and they loved that we were lightly flavored. So overall, we're really excited about this beverage. We're in a position to grow better and more strongly than we ever have been before. And we're absolutely thrilled to be up here today telling you about our beverage. Um, something that we've never had the opportunity to do thus far, and so we're excited. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Eslina. Um, you know, in terms of uh, infused still waters, infused sparkling waters, I mean, it seems to be a category that more and more people are interested in. Eslina, what do you think of uh, their chances? Matt. It's interesting. I, I, uh, I'm not certain yet. I, 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 did, I got a chance to taste it for the first time. I do like the organic element. They're, they're, I think that's clever to, to bring those differentiators to light on the, on the label. Um, the sea salt, ancient sea salt play is interesting as well. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, um, it's, not, you know, it's not winning for me yet, but I think they're obviously continue to adapt and evolve, as she said, so. Yeah. yeah. Pat, uh, Esther talked a lot about, you know, the development of the brand, the, the, the strategy. I mean, what did you hear? Did you hear anything that really interested in you as an investor or as an incubator? Yeah, I mean, kind of like to Matt's point, um, I think it's a little bit early just to really understand. I, th I think I'm just getting a little bit confused on where it would be placed actually at retail. Um, it's kind of like a little bit of a fit between enhanced waters and still and, th and things like that. But uh, I would like to see a little bit more on the differentiating fact, especially the ancient sea salt. Um, what is the, f the true functional benefit of it? Like w why do you have that in there versus other ingredients, things like that. But I mean, I thought the taste was pretty good. Um, you could definitely tell that it's, it's lightly flavored as she accented as well. Um, I just would like to see a little bit more. Mike, uh, in terms of other infused flavored waters on the market, you know, what do you think about Eslina's, uh, Eslina's liquid? I mean, so I've said this before, so it shouldn't be a surprise that the formula for brand is great brand plus shitty product equals hot mess. And the good <laughs> news here is that this is a good product. And I think um, that, you know, there's a lot to work on in terms of the labeling, the messaging. There's some redundancy on the label. It says still infused water is really tiny. And then there's some other you know, um, some other uh, comments on the water. I think, like, if they get the packaging right, that it could fit in many different uh, spaces on the shelf and would intrigue a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Kelly, you get the last word. What do you think of Eslina? <laughs> I agree. I mean, I think the product is great, but it's you, you really have to dig in there to find out what you're drinking. Um, and I'd love to see those differentiators um, boosted up. And I also think the brand name is a little tough to pronounce, so. Thank you.